Hey guys, this is Frostcrest. Um, today, instead of my usual video, I'm going to be showing you a gear optimizer I found um, through some field mates of mine. Previously, I'd been using RAR, which, as some of you may know, is a lead of jerks and is apparently the best gear optimizer. But um, pre cata this was true, but once the cataclysm hit, um, a lot of their information became out of date with, uh, because it's user like um, user based. So they have to have contributors, um, and if nobody contributes, then it's out of date. And it wasn't that in up to date to begin with. This is askmrrobot.com, and um, as you can see, it's uh, these are all the resources it has. Um, you choose the gear optimizer, and and you got to pick a character. Um, you type in your Morellum. I'm personally on Mediv, Frostcrest, um, and what I would always use um, RAR for was melee DPS, um, frost, DK, and um, that was semi up to date with Kato, um, as, as it said. The only one that it was really good for for DKs was tanking, um, of course the only other spec, um, and it was up to date perfectly, but for, I know for Paladins it was not up to date at all, there was no Holy Paladin compatibility. Now this, here's your stances, it'll automatically import it, but if you want you can do it manually. Um, I'm a Frost DK, dual, double-handed, um, and now these are your Dems, your Enchants, and Reforged. As you see, all of these are, there's no, um, it's not suboptimal as it says right here, um, because, I mean, it's pretty inexpensive to do uh, reforging, so as I get new gear, no matter what it is, if it's best in slot or not, I'm going to reforge it. What? Now, for the best in slots here, which is, if there's no red arrow, it means it's best in slots, so the, sh the pauldrons... Um, my hands and my greaves, hold on, I gotta fix something, are actually, oh, never mind, um, best in slot. The only thing that's best in, isn't best in slot here is because I'm not, I'm gonna change this to I do PvP. So that changes the gear, uh, the, the legs, because the legs, only thing better would have been PvP, and I'm really not that great at PvP. These are all the options you have. Um, I am definitely can get Exalted Rep, so I'm going to say I can do that. I don't want to pay a lot. I'm not very rich. I don't do Archaeologist a lot. That's really going to exclude, for me, as a DPS, um, that sword from the trolls. Um, exclude Darkman cards. I can get enough guildies um, to, you know, give me some stuff. But if it drops, it's either going to be expensive or a very low chance of getting it. And random items, I don't even know what that means, so I'm just going to you know, leave it there. I'm two-handed, as I said. Pre-raid. I'm a Torin, mining and blacksmithing my stuff. These are the stat weights. You do not want to mess with this. I mean, if, unless you really know your class and what you want, you don't want to mess with that. Now, as you see, these are in red. This is because it's not optimal. Mm -hmm. I have the Arcanum of Vicious Strength when I should have Arcanum of Dragon Maw. I'm not really Dragon Maw yet. That's why I don't have it. So, as you said, I, as you saw, I hit optimized and it popped up with all these green things. This is how I should be gemmed, enchanted, and reforged. Um, so, it's basically saying, hey, Frostcraft, you need a shitload of bold iron uh, inferno rubies. If you were a jewel crafter, you would see bold chimera, whatever, chimera's eye, um, with 67 strength in there. These two, I'm going to assume, give you a socket bonus. Yes, plus 20 strength. And since strength is so high up there, um, I guess that, I don't know, it's calculator says it's good. Now, the way this works is you can look in best in slot overall. You say, oh shit, this is what I want. Look at how my score changed. I don't think this is your actual DPS, but it is directly correlated to how much DPS you pull. Um, but say I, everything's green over here, and then I get, um, I get that drop from Vanessa Van Cleef. So Mason Helm, I'm going to have to redo this stuff. So it'll change as you do it. So that's why I can change Mastery because it's inexpensive. Yet, um, stuff like Enchants, I don't get unless my gear is, you know, best in slot, which it is for those certain ones. Um, that's really all it is. You can go to all this other stuff, um, all the other classes. My 85 is a DK. I'm getting my pally up there. He's pretty fucking close. Um... But if you go home, you can also go to Talents and Specs. Talents and Glyphs, sorry. And, um, let's say our Mage. Arcane Mage. Eh. Um, it'll say, these are uh, what people generally say, you know, it's good to do. And it'll give you your, um, <laughs> I like this. 
I haven't looked at this before. Um, your sources. So this is Elitist Jerks, which, I mean, it's pretty up-to-date when it comes to the, the guides and how you play it. Um, and then Team Robot. I like that. One of Mr. Robot's human team members that loves to play mages. Um, but, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. If you have any comments or questions, just ask me below. But um, that's it. Stay safe. Don't drunk drive. See you.